Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames, and this is a video about Uba Booga. Uba Booga is, um, is something like Automatic 11.11, but for language models. So basically, it's a web UI where you can load different models to like the one that we used uh, just in the last video called GPT for All. You can use Alora for GPT for All in a Llama model. And you can load, uh, here it says, uh, some of the models that are available right now. GPTJ and you can load Llama too. And we're going to be using this uh, to interact with automatic also. So basically you can have these two softwares running in your computer at the same time if you have a good enough graphic card and enough memory. And the difference between this one and the last one that I had is that this one, apart from the interface, uh, it's a lot easier to put it like in the graphic card mode. So if you have like a poor processor like I do and you have a better graphic card then this is the way to go also it's like really fun I gonna start uh, showing you also other places that you can go for more information there is a Uba Booga reddit apart from of course the github where you can have information and it's really cool I, here I just ask how I could load it and people help you out. It's super recommended that you join this Discord. I mean this, um, actually, the Uba Booga now has a Discord also. I will show you the Discord afterwards. And of course, if you are happy with this software, I recommend you to come here and support Uba Booga because they, they really put a lot of effort onto, into this thing and to have it in our computers and we will then do this without the help of uh, the creators okay and actually let's uh, make a little nation dinghy here let's go and do the installation so we will come into this post and download this zip file that i'm gonna link in the description you can also do it from the uba Booga website here is the the file you can uh, download it and let's start with the installation. Okay, so after downloading the file, we're gonna just um, uh, unzip it in the in the folder where we want to install this thing. I recommend it to be like the closest to the root of the hard drive and then just run install. And you have to put here A. If you are in CPU mode, uh, choose B. As I said, you need to choose whatever you want here if you have a super good processor I, I don't know one of those I don't know which one is good <laughs> right now but yeah it's using Python 3.10 and installing uh, Torch and CUDA and this might take a while so not to wait Also, let's um, send kudos to the person that made this um, yield, I think. It's the person who made this. Imagine, this is going to bring so many people that had trouble to install this. I was going to make the whole video of doing the whole installation. And this saves so much time. Okay, as it is told, I'm just gonna point you to this uh, person, uh, JLLL is the person who made the installer for the Uba Booga. Uh, previously, we had to install like every single dependency and it was a pain to install and it was very complicated. So this one is like uh, lowering the bars of entrance for the for people to just come here and have fun in the in the web UI. So kudos to Jill uh, for doing this.
I think you're gonna need git. Uh, to, you need to install git to get this to work. So first install git anyway. I'm gonna put it on the description of the video. Press any key to continue. Okay, I just press the enter key and the installation the installation finished. So we are going to go into instructions and it says that we need to run the download. So we are going to run the download and we are not gonna use any of these modes, so press K. And in here we're gonna paste uh, this. So basically this is the hogging face. Uh, uh, address for this model so press enter and it start downloading the model in here uh, this must be the 7b because it's just 4 gigs 4.5 so this is the 7, 7 billion parameter model okay to continue with the installation with the video we have here the web ui.bat we need to open that and edit it with these uh, lines that I'm going to add here. We have dash dash model, which is the model that we downloaded from the hogging face with the bat. Uh, with the model download bat. And then we have the dash dash with it uh, 4 to start it in 4 bits and the group size to 128. And we have no stream. No stream is to load the to load the characters just after each token is generated, not uh, token by token, but when every when the whole sentence and the whole response is generated. And I am doing that because I am using the Eleven Labs TTS. I want to use it to uh, make audio out of my of my responses. And also here we have. Um, extensions that's to load all these three extensions this is actually two two extensions here send api pictures that's to connect a stable diffusion and send pictures so to connect a stable diffusion we use um, dash dash listen dash port 7861 because a stable diffusion is in 7860 we need to use this in 7861 so they don't conflict. And if you are using another computer in the same network, then you can add your uh, IP address here, like 127.0.0.1 and like that, something like that. Okay, so that's all. Maybe you can add the LoRa, um, the LoRa flags. Anyway, the, the flags you can find them in the in the op, in the Ubabuga repo, and we are gonna go ahead and start this thing. So to start it, you just double click here. Okay, now that's uh, loaded, we can open the web UI here. And as I told you, we are using a stable diffusion. If you're going to use a stable diffusion with this, again, you need to uh, dash dash API and maybe listen in the in the arguments for a stable diffusion. Here we can open Ubabuga. And this is the web UI for Ubabuga. And here you put your prompts. Here you can see the Stable Diffusion API. When we activate this, we can uh, tell Stable Diffusion to send a picture, and it will send a picture. We'll send a request to, a to the API on a Stable Diffusion, and we'll create a picture for us in the answer here and uh, and this. 
And also I think at the moment this script is working like a role-playing game and maybe we need to change that behavior in the script but for the moment it's okay for just uh, showing up how it works in, in conjunction with stable diffusion. Later on we can improve this script to make the things that we want. At the moment we can uh, come here in the... There is also like the inference mode where we can select other scripts like Whisper or maybe Google Translate. We can add more things and also how the, the, the model behaves. We can train a model here also. We have a training uh, thing for making LoRas and that kind of thing. And here in the parameters, we can say how many tokens we can use in each uh, response so that the AI doesn't go bollocks and make a lot of uh, different answers. And in here, we can choose the temperature. I'm going to go with something like 0 0.75 and the top piece, OK, 30. Also, you have different settings here that you can select. I'm going to go with these settings. Uh, for the character, I, you can make a small character here or you can make a more complex with, with a JSON file. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a character in another tutorial. For now, I'm going to show you how to load a ready-made character. And we are going to go into our downloads here and I have this character. I'm going to make this character available in my, in my coffee page if anyone uh, wants to try it on. And in here we can add a, um, actually, in, it's in this upload character thing. And here we can upload the picture. Maybe this is okay. And submit to add the character. Then when it's loaded, you can uh, come here and reload this. Select your character here and it will load like that. Also, you can upload your picture. And for that, I'm going to use um, this. And here is like a synopsis of the character and how it's working. Basically, it does prompts for me if I if I make a prompt. And here we can connect the, the TTS. If we refresh, we'll have the character and that we can select and it will load here. So I'm gonna make a prompt for this, maybe this thing here and paste it and say generate and because I use no stream it will come like after the request is full it will after it's generating the whole request it will load here maybe we can see how it's working Ah, okay, I have an error for the, for the TTS. You need to select a voice, like we're going to select Helen and connect. Actually, I should have selected Helen. Okay. Maybe I need to regenerate. Okay, 66 tokens. And here is the response. 
Dynamic, semi-realistic, Dutch angle, mid-shot, Chun-Li, kicking, street fighter game, urban city street, neon lights, Japanese characters, ink and watercolor, cell shading, anime and comic book, Alex Ross, Yoji Shinkawa. Maybe I can use send, send a picture. Ah, uh, well, is send a pic and... Let's see if we get the response. Oh, bad request. I don't know, that's an 11 laps bad request. Okay, let's try this with the without the 11 TTS uh, thing. And let's try to do it the picture. So generate input to response or generate image to the input. Okay, we need to make a folder here called all outputs. And try once more. Let's see if it works. Okay, fine. This is the this is the thing. She made the she made the picture for us, and she also made the. But she didn't took the character. I know, yeah, she took the character, but that's the thing with a stable diffusion. If you haven't trained, like if you've got, if you have a model with the, it's not trained with the characters, it wouldn't know what, what Gambit is. So instead of uh, drawing the, the male character, it's drawing like a, a random superhero type character. But anyway, it's a good picture and, and it was made by the AI with the with the character that I made. So basically, you can make characters for anything that you want and, and make them in this way. So realistic, mid shot, gambit, levitating, Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco, California, USA, perspective, action, Marvel Comics, photo, Alex Ross, Drew Struzan, Bill Gold. So she all the time she makes like a different a different uh, prompt so like this one had new tokyo instead of san francisco i mean uh, yeah new tokyo the other one was different well i hope um you like the video this was a very hard video to make <laughs> really it went everything went wrong in this video different than and and the and the computer can barely manage this um this load uh, because I'm recording and the recording freeze and yeah and also the things with this let me know if you like the video comment comment in the in the video so I can make more things like this maybe I can I can make more things of Ubabu 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 super tired <laughs> thank you for watching bye bye